Hey everyone, what's up? It's Kahoob here. Welcome to Bitcoin for Beginners Part 2. Today I'll be showing you how to download Sparrow Wallet, what Sparrow Wallet is, and why I chose Sparrow Wallet and what it will be used for. So Sparrow Wallet is an open source Bitcoin only software wallet for your desktop and there is no mobile wallet version of Sparrow. We will be using it as a watch only wallet, meaning that you will be able to view all your Bitcoin here, but your seed phrase, also known as your private keys and also known as the master key, will not be generated or stored within Sparrow Wallet. This means that nobody will be able to steal your Bitcoin if they get access to your Sparrow Wallet. The only thing they will be able to do is see all of your public Bitcoin addresses, which means it can ruin privacy, so it is still best to keep it secured and put a password on the wallet for privacy reasons. I personally have a password on mine, so if anyone were to hack my computer, they still wouldn't be able to see how much Bitcoin I own unless they were to figure out my password on that as well. But even then, the only thing that would be ruined is privacy, as they would not be able to steal the Bitcoin no matter what. First thing you will want to do is go into my description and click the Sparrow Wallet download link. And then you'll click on the correlating one with your operating system. For me, I am using Windows, so I will install the Windows 7 Plus standalone or installer. And if you are on Windows, I recommend downloading the .exe file, which is just right here. Um, and then once you install Sparrow, as you go through that download, I'll do that right now. Okay, I'm not going to, if this says it, you can click more info and click run anyways. I'm not going to go into it because I don't know if it shows any personal detail and I'm not trying to do too much of that stuff. So don't want to dox myself or anything. So I'm going to close out of this. But basically it's a very easy, regular standalone like installer thing, like a setup wizard. And so you should be able to do that. I mean, if you've ever installed anything on your computer at all, then you should know how to do that. Um, and so once it's installed should look something like this from the menu you're going to want to select file and then new wallet so up on the top left file new wallet and then you'll choose a name for your wallet and the name can be anything you want it will not change any settings or anything like that now let's type like kahoob's wallet or something like that and so here is where you would then have the options to import your Bitcoin wallet or to create a software wallet with Sparrow, which would generate the private keys onto here, meaning if someone hacked into the wallet, they could steal your Bitcoin. So I'm just going to click create wallet. As we can see right here, we can either do new or imported software wallet or connected hardware wallet or air gapped um, hardware wallet. So there's many different options that they let you do. So I kind of want to get into, before I go into a little more detail, um, I would just like to go over why I chose it. <clears throat> so I chose Sparrow Wallet because it is a, basically what I explained what it is. Um, it's an open source, Bitcoin only uh, software wallet that I can use as a watch only wallet. So it's just very clean and easy and nice to use. Very, I think it's very simple and um, more modern and... Um, I just like it a lot. So, I mean, you can look up um, different wallets you want. Like there is Electrum. Most uh, Bitcoiners will either use Electrum or Sparrow. I personally chose Sparrow. Okay. So, um, just keep in mind if you do uh, create a software wallet with this is you may currently not have a hardware wallet so you actually wouldn't be able to go further than where I'm at right now you can not actually get a wallet set up until you have a hardware wallet or you could just do the software wallet right now but <clears throat> just remember if you generate a software um, or generate the private keys on on here basically creating a software wallet um, so if someone hacked into your wallet they could steal your bit your Bitcoin so if I do new I can choose to use uh, 12 words, 15 words, 18 words, 21 words, 24 words. I'd most likely do 24 and I'd click generate new. Uh, do not enter it in yourself. But um, I'm going to kind of stop here and not talk too much more about this because in my next video for uh, Bitcoin for Beginners, I'm going to be explaining how to set up Sparrow Wallet as a hot wallet. A hot wallet is also known as a software wallet as, um, you know, it's 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 t uh, always online because the private keys are generated online. Um, the reason I'm going to be doing a video on how to do this, despite it having a bigger security risk than just using a hardware wallet, 
is because there's many possibilities on why you may want to use a software wallet instead of a hardware wallet. The reasons could include that you cannot afford a hardware wallet. It could be that you only own $100 worth of Bitcoin. So if you were to buy like a $150 hardware wallet, it wouldn't make financial sense to do so and like just so on. There's many reasons. So for now, uh, we have com officially completed installing Sparrow Wallet. So congratulations, you have officially done it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if so, please consider leaving a thumbs up and to su subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you all in my next video as it will be a lot longer. And um, we're, we'll actually go over creating a software wallet with Sparrow, which will be pretty cool. All right. See you all in the next one.